in today's video, we are doing a DIY that I am super excited about. I used primarily Dollar Tree items with the exception of the balloons, but we are creating this up inspired storage unit um, that you can literally use. I have this in my craft space and I use it. So I made two. So this is the one that we're making today. But originally when I made this project, I intended it to store my fabric paints, leftover paints, some of my go-to paints that I use quite a bit. And I have this stationed on my desk that I use now for painting. And I just thought it was really fun and pretty. And I love to obviously add a lot of color into my craft space. And what better way to do that than with the movie Up being an inspiration. So this whole project costs well under $21. And um, I absolutely love it. It's super functional. You can use it for whatever you want. But for me, I love it in my craft space to house all my paints. So let's go ahead and get into the craft. I'm starting out with six wooden boxes from Dollar Tree, along with a packet of wood planks, also from Dollar Tree. You're only gonna need three of these, but it comes in a pack of six, and four of the slats, 12 inches from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need a pack of the Jenga tumbling blocks from Dollar Tree, as well as my favorite tear-off palette for all of my painting needs. And I pulled a few of my brights, uh, bright paints from my collection to look like the up house. And I also purchased this pack of um, plastic balloons from Amazon. Now you're going to be painting this in sections. So basically it's going to be the same for all three tiers and you can do as many tiers as you'd like, but for this project, I chose uh, three tiers and you're going to paint two of the wooden boxes in the same color. So in this case, I'm doing pink along with one of the uh, square uh, planks from the packet I showed earlier. So you're gonna go ahead and paint the two wooden boxes literally inside and out, and then paint the um, whole entire surface of the wooden plank. And you're gonna do this for all of the boxes. So the first two boxes I did in the color pink, the next two boxes I did in the color blue, and then the last two boxes I did in the color purple. But feel free to alternate the colors. I know in the very first one that I created, I did two of the wooden boxes in pink, two in the green, and two in the yellow. And then the slats were the other two remaining colors. So get creative and whatever, whatever color scheme you want to do for this up house interpretation. One thing I'll say about this project, but I actually love it is it is a little messy so as you can see my hands got pretty full of paint in between the painting sessions but I don't know as an artist you just you kind of enjoy it kind of like when you have glue on your fingertips I don't know about you guys but did you ever purposely put glue on your fingertips and then peel it off I know weird but that was a fetish of mine when I was a kid <laughs> Thank you. 
You are also going to go ahead and paint the uh, four slats. So two of the slats I painted in this kind of apple green color, and then the other two slats I painted in a sunshine yellow. And so pretty much like the boxes, you're just gonna paint every single part of exposed wood and then set that, set that aside to dry. And then with your Dollar Tree Jenga pieces, um, you're only gonna need about 11. And I realized that after I started painting, I'm like, wait a second, I have way more than I need. Um, so you're only gonna need about 11 of these little pieces. So again, just paint the entire uh, surface. And um, one thing that I will say is I did go back in two or three times with some coats um, with the Jenga pieces along with the slats and the boxes just to make sure they were dark enough. Um, so again, that's up to you, but I, I like to make sure that there's no raw wood showing through. To assemble your tiers, you're going to use this wood glue from Dollar Tree or any other wood glue that you enjoy. Um, and then essentially what you're gonna do is you're going to put the wood glue on one side of the box and then you're going to put those two boxes together. And I use these clips from Dollar Tree to make sure that they're both adhered very, very well. Um, and there's no gaps in between. So highly recommend these clips. I use them for every single project practically. And then you're just going to let that dry. But before you set that aside, you're going to glue your wood plank to the bottom of it. And this is just for additional stability. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable enough leaving the, the bottom completely naked, if you will. So the additional wood will give it a little bit more uh, stability. If you do get some glue on the wood, that's okay. It does dry clear, but I did notice that there were some little splotches here and there even after it dried. So after it was all dried, I did go back in with an additional coat of the pink in those little areas where I had some extra glue that seeped out. So you're just gonna follow the same process for the other two tiers with the blue and the purple. Off camera, I did go ahead and glue the slats together. So just the two pieces of yellow and the two green slats together. So if you could see that on the left-hand side, I have two clamps holding those two pieces um, firmly in the middle as they dried. Now to create your little chimney, um, you're going to start with the four Jenga blocks and glue those all together. And then you're gonna do another set of four Jenga blocks gluing those together. And then essentially what you're going to do is you're going to take one jangle block and you'll see in a moment, you'll take one jangle block right there in the middle, glue both sides, put glue on both sides, and then you're going to just sandwich those two walls and then put another jangle block on either side of those walls. Now for the chimney, it did get a little bit messy with the glue, so I definitely had to go back in and just do another full coat once it dried with the brown, um, just to make sure it was completely opaque and didn't have any splotches anywhere. Now because this piece is so large, I didn't get a chance to fit all of it on camera, but um, when you're going to glue your boxes, um, essentially you're just going to decide at what height you want each tier to be. So once you do that, you're then going to apply wood glue onto both sides of the slats and then set that aside to dry. And um, 
Now we're just going to attach the balloons and insert that into the chimney. Now with these balloons, I love these balloons. I don't know if you guys remember when you were kids, kids of the 90s, uh, and you had your birthday cakes and they came with these really cute little plastic balloons. These are the exact same ones that you can find on, um, on Amazon. And it just, it was so nostalgic to me and brought back so many memories of when I was a kid. But um, this comes with about seven or eight stems of balloons. And what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to decide at what height I want the balloons to be popping out of the chimney because the stems were a little bit too long. So I cut one of the stems and then use that as a guide for when I was bunching the balloons together and then just cut the stems as I went just to make sure everything was uh, uniform. And then once you get all of your balloon stems together, I used um, painting tape, painter's tape, to just attach the all the stems together. And um, so I, you'll see in a moment that I just wrap it around the stems. Now to the left, I am putting a bunch of hot glue on my mat. And the reason for this is I want to create some sort of a stand for the balloons. So as you can see, I'm putting a little bit of hot glue at the bottom of the stem, and then I'm going to insert that right into my little pool of hot glue that I just did. And then I'm gonna let that dry. Once your hot glue dries, as you can see, I'm going to then trim, roughly trim around um, to make sure that that whole stem will fit into the chimney. So I just kind of play around with it, trim, play around with it again, and then trim again until it fits into the chimney. Now to activate that hot glue base that we made for the balloons, I am putting a bunch of hot glue at the bottom of the chimney as you can see, and then I'm going to go ahead and insert the balloons right into that glob of hot glue at the bottom. So I used a mixture of hot glue and wood glue to attach the chimney to the top of the box and you just decide at what height you want the chimney to be poking out. Um, and then I did go ahead and use some painter's tape on the outside just to make sure that the box or the chimney didn't wiggle around or fall forward because it is a little bit top heavy with all of the balloons sticking out so the painter's tape just really helped to keep it in place as it was drying. And this is what the final product looks like. I really love it. I think it's so happy and it's just a, the perfect addition in my craft space to house my paints and any other little things that I need to have stored. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for more content to come. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye.